right, finally got a little bit of wind. Not much, but here's your, your miles an hour. Here's your production uh, off of my 400 watt high wind max. So 20, 47 miles, uh, 65 watts, 14. Eight, yeah, that was probably the 82 was the 14 miles an hour because it's a second delayed. Okay, so anyway, I'll just keep this on here and you can just see what I'm getting today. This is dirty wind. It's coming from uh, the... Uh, actually, this isn't too dirty, although it's dirty in the sense that it's, con it's moving uh, direction-wise constantly. Yeah, I've, I've seen a lot better than this when the wind just stays one direction. But here we go. Here's a little something. 135. One, 173. So that was the 19 miles an hour. It was 173 watts. I'll just keep it up here a little bit. So, not too bad for a small 400 watt wind max. But this is pretty much real time. Let me try something to keep this on a little bit longer. You know, I've seen actually better product production out of uh, this turbine with uh, these uh, low to mid uh, range winds. But that's what I'm getting. Just show it as it is. Here comes a gust, I think. At least it sounded like one outside, but it's not registering more than 10 miles an hour, so. So your 8s are in the 50 watt range, roughly. You can do the math here. So, when you see 30... Let's call it 31. 8 is what it is. It'll hit here. It'll take a second and a half before it registers there. So 91 is not 13. It's going to be the 15. Was what 91 watts. And, re and mind you, this is being inverted. This is 20% lower production than you would see if it was going directly to a battery bank. Because I have to, um, I'm losing the efficiency inversion going through a cheap uh, Sun G. But, gives you some info. I haven't had any wind in a while, so I'm getting a little something. And it helps. It's just a little constant flow of power. Oops. Just a little constant flow of power coming in for the day. Today's been a junky day for the uh, solar. In fact, uh, let's see what I'm making on my my end phase panels. 546 watts on a rainy day. This is a 1.35 kilowatt array. So that's six panels there are two 225s each i believe anyway that's the solar so every little bit helps on the wind to supplement and you can just see it's just constant constant uh watts coming in 
but nothing to write home about. I'm supposed to get some stronger winds later tonight, so we'll have something more in the 15 consistent range versus this little 50, 60 watt, 10, 11 mile an hour stuff. All right, I think that's enough. I'll bring out some more readings. Um, I'll bring out some more readings later when we get some better winds. But I'm just giving everybody just um, some real side-by-side, -side, real time info on a 400 watt Winmax. So the 39 was the nine miles an hour. Remember, it's going to hit this and register the wind before it registers. There'll be a second and a half when the wind registers here. So, 43 is really going to be 9. That 12 is going to be dropping the 9. You'll see this probably go down to 8 or 7 or 4. Even at 4 you're making something. Anyway, I'll go another couple seconds on this. All right, sun sensational out.